In this video, we are going to learn how to perform permeability test on pervious concrete with reference of IS 3085-1965. So apparatus required for the test will consist a air compressor, a pressure chamber on which pressure regulator is mounted, having two gauges, one showing test pressure and other indicating input pressure, a permeability apparatus which will consist a rectangular cell, high pressure hose pipe and a pressure gauge. So let us see how this apparatus is connected. A high pressure pipe as you can see in the blue color comes from compressor to pressure chamber. This is water inlet, this is water outlet and from water outlet another high pressure pipe goes to the permeability apparatus transferring the water between the two and water pressure is indicated by the gauge mounted there. And now we'll look at the test procedure. So after making the cube specimen, we'll cure it for 28 days in a clear and fresh water. And after 28 days, the specimen shall sun dry such that there is no moisture left inside it. Since the size of the cell is bigger than the size of the cube specimen, so we shall prepare a seal to prevent water entering or leaving from the side of the test specimen. For this, we shall tightly chalk the gap between the specimen and the cell to a depth of about 10 mm using cotton. Then we shall pour any suitable molten sealing compound. We have used PET that is polyethylene terpethylate and we have mixed it with hardener and now we will mix it properly and as I have already said, we will pour it throughout the layer of cotton as you can see on the screen and then we'll place the test specimen in the cell in such a way that its top face is at the side of the cell. The same process shall repeat for the top layer like chalking the gap between the cell and the specimen with the help of cotton and then pouring any suitable molten sealing compound throughout the layer. After this top face layering, cover the cell with the lid and now we'll tight each and every bolt so that there is no leakage at all. We'll connect the high pressure hose pipe with the cell and we'll tight the connection properly. And finally, we will allow the specimen to remain in the mold for two days to allow the compound to harden well and after two days we can run the test. So firstly we'll close the water outlet valve and open the lid of pressure chamber and with the help of funnel we will pour the water in the pressure chamber and we'll fill it with water and after that we will tight all the connections so that there is no leakage we will tight every connection as you can see on the screen and now we will start the compressor turn on the compressor's valve and also pressure chambers water outlet valve so that a certain amount of pressure can be maintained throughout the apparatus. We will maintain the water pressure of 8 kg per centimeter square but as per IS3085 it can be maintained in the range of 5 to 15 kg per centimeter square. Now we will open the inlet valve of permeability apparatus and we will wait for the steady condition to arrive. After achieving steady condition we'll fill the 1000 ml jar and simultaneously we'll record the time after filling it we'll stop the stopwatch immediately and we'll note the time and now let's move to the calculation part so as per IS3085 formula for the permeability will be K equals to Q upon AT into HYL where K is coefficient of permeability in centimeter per second Q is quantity of water 
in milliliters collected in the jar a is the area of specimen face in centimeter square and t is the time in seconds over which q is measured and hyl is the ratio of pressure head to the thickness of specimen so in our case q is equal to 1000 ml because the jar was of 1000 ml in volume area of the face of the specimen is equal to 225 centimeter square time noted was 11.27 seconds h is calculated as p by rho g which is equal to 0.0815 meters thickness of specimen is equal to 0.150 meter after putting all these values in the formula we will get coefficient of permeability equals to 0.729 centimeter per second which is nothing but permeability now we'll move to the temperature correction so as per codal provisions this test should be conducted at the temperature of 27 plus minus 2 degree celsius otherwise correction should be applied so how do we apply the correction it is simple that for every 5 degree celsius increase in temperature the result should be increased by 10 percent and vice versa we have conducted this test at 36 degree celsius so we have to apply the correction factor of 1.20 that is 20 percent increment in the final result so we get the corrected permeability value of 0.875 cm per second which is in the range of codal provisions now moving to the last and important part of the video that is cleaning of apparatus so after conducting the test you should uh, clean the apparatus properly as you can see on the screen and lastly take the specimen out of the cell and clean the cell from within so this was how we conduct the permeability test on pervious concrete. For more such videos, stay tuned. Thank you.